All right, Saints at the Falcons. We were just talking about the Falcons. Hey, Roz, what do you think? This might be my upset of the week, if you can call it that. I I know how good Matt Ryan is at the Georgia Dome, and this is going to be a big shootout. Make no mistake about it. Both teams are going to score every possession they have. You might see a total of two punts in an entire game. Um, I love how Atlanta's reestablished Michael Turner because that's where their offense stemmed off last season, and they decided, okay, well, now we got Julio Jones and Roddy White on the outside and Tony Gonzalez as their tight end. Let's just throw the ball 40 times a game. Ah, uh, not so fast. That's not how you win ball games. That's not their formula for success. So I really, really like what they've done with uh, Michael Turner. Um, but it's going to be up and down the whole way. The only thing is, I just think the Saints, too much Drew Brees. I really think they're, this might be the game where they just really explode. Um, they had a couple games where they've kind of sleepwalked, minus the Indianapolis game. But I just see with that offense, once the play, part of it could be that Sean Payton's in the coaching box and the play calling and just the whole aspect of that has changed, not feeding off his energy on the sideline. But I think the Saints are a team to be reckoned with. What do you think? Ross brought up Michael Turner, mm -hmm. and I think he can control the clock. I think when you have to worry about him, it opens things up. We all saw the two catches that Julio Jones made, those two touchdowns. That first one was about as incredible as a catch as I've ever seen, with him falling down and somehow pulling that in between those defenders. Not a great throw by Matt Ryan. And then the second one, he obviously catches it and takes it all himself. When you have to worry about an athlete of that caliber, and then you also have to worry about a power running game. And then you also got the guy who led the NFL in catches uh, last year, mm -hmm. you know, uh, on one side. And then you got the greatest tight end of all time. God, I think there's too much Atlanta Falcons in this. Plus, I think their defense is better at one particular aspect that the Saints were great at last year. That's creating turnovers. I think Atlanta wins. I think they win at home. I think, uh, again, high scoring game. I'm with you on that. But I think Atlanta could win this game by a touchdown or more. So, who is the Saints' leading receiver in yards? Let's take a look. I know. I know. Okay, you know. I'm just wondering if you guys oh. have a guess. I think it's Darren Sproles. Okay, what's your guess? Uh, uh, Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham is correct. Mm -hmm. But, now these numbers I do not have. How has Jimmy Graham done the last two games? Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I thought he meant by receptions. Okay, mm -hmm. Sproles has one more reception than Jimmy Graham. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, well, yeah. The, the yardage. Yeah, Yards-wise. Yeah. But, anyway, my point is, teams, he, he's not a sleeping giant anymore. No. He was mm -hmm. just sort of cruising along, and we weren't quite sure, you know. Oh, man, Jimmy Graham, okay, okay. Well, let's prepare for Jimmy Graham. Okay, okay, he'll be there, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And now it's gotten to a point where, okay, Jimmy Graham is going to rip us to shreds mm -hmm. if we don't figure out what to do with him. And he's not, he's not c coming up with huge numbers lately. He's just sort of, you know, he's not making those big plays. Um, I don't know what the Saints believe in themselves this year. It's getting weird in New Orleans. It really is. Drew Brees is having it really not that great season. Mm -hmm. He's just not playing that well. Yeah. He's turning the ball over a lot. They barely beat the Bucks last week. In a game they probably should have won much more handily. I like the Falcons here, and the Falcons are rising, rising, rising. I mean, Matt Ryan had a fantastic game last week. I mean, they, they hit their all-time high last week. Mm -hmm. Julio Jones was probably even better, mm -hmm. and they hit their all-time high last week, and I think they might keep cruising. And so in the Georgia Dome, Falcons, Matt Ryan in the Georgia Dome... I think it could go either way, but I'm, I'm, I, there's no way I can't take the Falcons in this game. I just think they're going to win. Yeah. I don't too. know if I think they're the better team, but I think they're going to win. Did, you, uh, did we have your pick? Yeah, yeah I'm picking the Saints. You're going to take the upset. Saints. Yeah, it's yeah, my right. upset pick of the week. I wonder what the line is. I guess it's probably... probably Atlanta at least is favored by a touchdown because it's in the, door, in the uh, Georgia yeah. Dome. So Fal Falcons are one of those teams that I think are surging. And at press time right now, I'm going to say I think they're a playoff team. Get back to me next week. We'll see what we think.